Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to solve this equation. So we have 4 raised to the power 3 times x minus 4 raised to the power 2 times x equals to 4 raised to the power of x. Let's start. We know that a number a raised to the power m times n can be written as a raised to the power of m and all of this to the n or a raised to the n and all of this to the n. So here we have 4 you can write it as 4 raised to the x and all of this to the third power. This 4 raised to the x and all of this to the second power equals to 4 raised to the x. We bring 4 from this side so we have 4 to the x to the third minus 4 to the x the second minus 4 to the x equals to 0. Now we take a number y equal to 4 times raised to the power of x. So this becomes y to the third power minus y to the second power minus y equals to zero y times y to the second minus y minus one equals to zero so here we have the solutions that y equals to 0 or y to the second minus y minus 1 equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let's solve this one first. We substitute y with 4 raised to the x, so we have 4 raised to the x equals to 0. But we know that 4 in the x is a positive number. It can be 0, so we must. It's undefined. Even if we log both sides here and here, we get that log or to the x equals to log of 0 which is undefined so we must remove the quadratic equation to solve it with this let's see how we can solve this We have that the solutions for this we use the formula y equals minus b plus minus square root of b to the second minus 4ac over 2a, where we have that a equals to 1, b equals to minus 1, and c equals to minus 1. So this becomes y equals to minus minus 1 plus minus 
square root minus 1 to the second power minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 over 2 times 1 equals this is 1 plus minus square root 1 minus you have minus 4 times minus 1 plus 4 over 2 so this is 1 plus minus square root of 5 over 2 now we'll check if this two solutions are acceptable. Let's move. So we have the first solution is y equals fraction one plus square root of five over two. We know that y equals to 4 raised to the x, so we have 4 raised to the x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Log both sides, so we have log 4 to the x equals log of the fraction 1 the square root of 5 over 2. We use this property of the log, so we have that first one that log the number a raised to the power x equals to x times log a, and the other one says that if we have log the fraction of number a over number b equals log of a minus log the number b but a and b must be positive a and B must post be positive. So let's see here what how we can write this. So this equals x times log four equals log one plus square root of five minus log of we divide both sides with log 4 log like this log 4 so we have that x equals log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log 2 over log 4 and if we substitute with numbers we have log 1 plus square root of 5 equals to 0 0.51 minus log 2 is equals to 0 0.3 and log 4 is equals to 0 0.6 so this is x equals to 0 0.35 
and this is R1 solution. Now let's see if the other solution y equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 is acceptable. So we have that 4x equals 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. But we know that 1 minus square root of 5 is less than 0. But 4x is always positive. So this solution, we can accept it. This solution is rejected. So our rule in solution is x equals to 0 0.35. I hope you understand it. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing. See you in the next video.